Hi, I'm Maria Ingold. I'm here at Connected Media IP at NAB 2018. I'm joined by Chris Pavlovsky, who is the CEO of Rumble. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And how are you finding NAB so far? It's been great so far. Uh, really busy, a lot busier than last year, so it seems for us, but uh, as we're growing, I guess that happens. Great. Well, tell me a bit about Rumble. Yeah, so Rumble's a rights management video platform, also a top 100 website in the United States mm -hmm. uh, that's helping creators distribute and monetize their content. What's unique about us, though, is the technology that we have at the upload, right at the upload, where we verify and clear content uh, that the creators upload to our platform. And what this does, it enables uh, publishers and enterprise clients and broadcasters and also advertisers to collaborate with our creators and, and monetize with their content. So, you know, overcoming all those brand safety issues mm -hmm. and data issues that you're starting to see in, in the ecosystem right now. Okay, so how do they monetize their content? So creators, uh, they upload their content to Rumble and then yeah. when that happens, we, we're, we're very large in terms of usership already, so yeah. advertisements, pre-rolls are the main way in which they monetize. But another way in which they monetize is that broadcasters and publishers can now collaborate with them. So they're able oh, to okay. go into our ecosystem, into our platform, rumble.com, find the content that they want to program in, insert it into their shows, whether it's Good Morning America mm -hmm. or whether it's their websites, embed it into their websites, and uh, provide that for their users and also make uh, revenue while doing so. Oh, great. So how much are content creators making? So we just announced at NAB this year uh, that uh, we're on pace to invest 20 million into our creators uh, this year great. alone in 2018. So that's a, it's a big achievement for us and it's quite a lot of money to go into social video, which is user generated video, brand safe user generated mm -hmm. video. So that's uh, it's been a big achievement for us and uh, a lot of money. <laughs> They're making a lot of money. We're seeing people have, uh, great. have a living off of our platform now that contribute. Wonderful. W what kind of videos are they posting? So it's not your typical YouTube type content. Uh, YouTube has been a platform that uh, always has creators pushing the envelope. So mm -hmm. they've kind of their platform's been incentivized in a way that you know since they don't have that technology that vets and verifies content right at the upload and it kind of goes up mm -hmm. naturally uh, without any kind of audit or mm -hmm. clearance. What ends up happening is you have YouTube creators always pushing the envelope, always trying to get more viewers, do the next crazy thing, yeah. um, and really kind of not being so brand safe when they do these type of things. And that's why you've seen this adpocalypse, you've seen all the issues with brand safety and, and brand safe content. And what's ended up happening is that this incentivization, because they don't have this clearance mechanism in the beginning, mm -hmm. has allowed this to happen. While, while Rumble, having this clearance mechanism mm -hmm. in front doesn't allow you know, people to steal content, uh, mm -hmm. you violate copyrights, and at the same time, it prevents br uh, uh, content that's not brand safe from going onto the platform and making money. So you have the incentivization on Rumble completely different than it is on YouTube. You're not getting the vloggers that are talking in front of the camera, but you're getting people that are filming very interesting moments and moments that can monetize quite well with, uh, with brands. So you get videos of uh, funny, you know, funny family moments, mm -hmm. interesting family moments, inspiring moments, moments that uh, any, any brand would like to be associated with. So just, you've mentioned brand safety a number of times. Yes. Just clarify what you mean by brand safety. So the idea that, you know, when you're sitting in front of a camera and you're saying something that's uh, not good or there's profanity mm -hmm. or there's something that uh, a brand wouldn't want to be associated with, there's the whole Logan Paul incident that happened a few months ago where he, uh, f he was filming in Japan. Uh, stuff like that doesn't end up being advertised on our platform with brands. Brands can't won't won't put their dollars behind that, and on platforms like YouTube, you see the brands running away from content like that. So the idea is that you're not gonna brands are not gonna run into content that has that have those issues on yes. Rumble.com. So it'll, it, it's in a it's in an environment that brands want to be associated with. Uh, who doesn't want to be with a cute family moment? Uh, stuff like uh, that you typically see in America's Funniest Home Videos. Things that are family friendly, that are inspiring. Things that are uh, that people want to watch and that go viral.
That's great. So are you vetting that or are they vetting that? So we have a technology piece uh, that we've built. We call it the rumble rank. And what it is, right at the point of upload and right at the point of ingestion, we clear and verify using artificial intelli intelligence and, and machine learning and a ton of data to make evaluations on that content uh, before it goes into it goes into distribution and monetization. We just. Mm. Uh, Recent last year, late last year, we brought on Guru Banavar, who is the f uh, CSO of mm -hmm. uh, IBM Watson. He helped oh, great, build yeah. Watson, so yeah. we have some pretty, uh, pretty important people when it comes to the AI front, helping us get this technology into a place that really works, and uh, and it has been to this point That's quite exciting. well. That's exciting. So, publishers are continuing to face margin pressure. How are you helping with that? So. The way I see it is that, imagine all the content creators out there, all, all the TV networks and cable networks, uh, all the, you know, your discovery communications, all the people creating content were out there and building TV sets. Mm -hmm. They would never survive. And unfortunately, that's exactly kind of what's happening with all the major enterprise clients, all the big broadcasters. They're all kind of building their TV sets online. They're building, mm -hmm. the, you know, they're bringing in their own video player. They're working with uh, content, uh, distribution network, CDNs, they're, they're, they're stitching up all this stuff, trying to be the technology, as well as being the content provider. And what we've decided is that, you know, since we already have this platform, and we have all these creators using our platform, and we already have the technology, why not make use of our technology for free? Stop stitching everything up, and paying for all this, use our, use our platform, mm -hmm. and, and, make it, and use it for free, so that you don't have to have all this uh, cost associated mm -hmm. to building your own TV set like it would be in your in your own home. I, if you're going to focus on content, you should focus on content. You shouldn't start getting into other other areas of business that are going to, you know, Let create else margin solve pressure. The technology for you. Exactly, and that's yeah. what we're primarily doing. Is that we're providing this on a on a silver platter to basically uh, serve all your video content online with full transparency and full protection, etc. That sounds great. So it, this all sounds good, and it sounds like uh, you're monetizing this through a revenue share type model. Yeah, so it's a it's revenue it's share model, low exactly. Low risk for everyone involved, and e uh, high gain. Exactly, no Wonderful. cost, all revenue share, and uh, a lot of revenue for all the participating parties. That sounds wonderful. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us, and we really look forward to finding out more next year yeah. uh, where <laughs> you are and what new innovations you've come up with. Absolutely, thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thanks.